Oh, we have a new thing here. Scholasticism. Temples give a bonus to max science. Nice, I want that later though. How oh, interesting! A golden spire. Temples can store 50% more faith later. Now we can have uh, steel from griffins. Hello everyone, Alpine Mesh here with the last episode of Kittens Game. The last episode of season one, of course. I know I haven't told you that this was only the first season, but now you know. I do not guarantee that there will be season two, but I have all the intentions to make it happen. I decided to take a break from making Kittens Game playthrough for a while. There are multiple reasons for that. Firstly, I'm getting a bit tired of working on it, it takes much more time than I initially anticipated. I need to add all the tiny bells and whistles manually while editing and it takes a lot of effort. Secondly, it seems that not many people are interested in watching these videos. It is not the main reason, but it adds up. Comments and likes give me loads of motivation to work on the videos. My initial plan was to produce 10 videos and then stop, but I really want to get to the first reset, so difficult to let this idea go. So I decided to take a break, maybe a month or so, focus on other video projects for a while, and then I would like to go back to making new episodes. Maybe I will figure out how to change the presentation so it is easier to edit. Maybe I will just quit this idea and will never continue. This is actually quite a probable scenario, I know myself too well, so I don't promise anything. However, if you would like to see more episodes, feel free to like this video and write your opinion in the comments. I'm always happy to get feedback from you. Now, with this out of the way, let's get back to our kittens. And we are still quite far away from getting navigation or cryptotheology. <laughs> 6,000 million billion signs! I don't know. I don't know how we can get there, but not today. So, navigation. We still need 33,000 signs. We don't have so much signs. We have only 27, so we are too far away from that. However, we are not too far away from printing press, because the printing press requires only 45 gears, and we have 45 gears. Well, we don't, but now we have. And now we get a printing press. Steamworks automatically print manuscripts. Let's go! Here, Steamworks. Call production penalty 80%. That basically means we don't have an option to make more steel and energy production 1 watt, which means nothing yet. We don't use energy, but we have this manuscript conversion 0.003 per second, which might look like something really, really tiny, but this is quite an expensive resource, so 
I think it's worth trying to get one Steamworks working. And besides, there is uh, another upgrade in the workshop, which reduces coal consumption of Steamworks by 20%. So we can uh, negate this uh, side effect a little bit afterwards. Let's see, what do we need for Steamworks? We need steel and we need more steel. So we need more and more steel. We need 65 plus 90 steel. That is many steel, much more steel than we have. So there is no chance of getting it. So uh, let's just go to the future. And finally, there is something we can actually do. So I will spend some wood. Is there a better way to spend wood than to buy another academy? Great. So I spent wood, I spent science, and now we can create more wood. Now we have a lot of faith. Let's see what faith can do for you. And the religion tab. And wow. There is scholasticism. Scholasticism temples give you a bonus to max science. Uh, let's see. So for now, we have uh, two temples. Doesn't give any bonuses to max science. So let's research this thing. Wololo. Done. And let's just praise the sun for whatever is left. Whoa, we have new things. Sun Altar. Every temple can store a bit more faith and will improve happiness by 0.5%. This is really great. Happiness equals production. And production equals spending less time waiting for something to happen. Then Stained Glass. Every temple will generate twice as much culture. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. We already have too much culture to deal with. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll need it sometime. By the way, dealing with culture. Let's see what we can do here. Hmm. I think Nagas may be able to give us another resource. Well, they didn't that that, but what can you do? At least I'm generating more culture. That's good. We can just casually send 15 hunters just for this additional first. A very useful. And look at the workshop. What have we got here? We have enough steel to research the high pressure engine. We just need to wait a bit for the science to accumulate. So let's make a few gears. How many? 25. Okay, 25 gears. Done. We are almost ready. Not too bad. Let's see what happens. So, cold production penalty reduction 20%. So, our coal. There's no penalty right now. Then we look at Steamworks, coal production penalty 80%. By the way, we can already build Steamworks, but I'm not going to do it because we need gears for the upgrade. And I think it is much better if our Steamworks will not consume all of the coal because we need it for steel. So let's get the high pressure engine. Farewell to our blueprints. We had five, we have zero now. I don't know where we get more, but we'll see. Steamworks. Coal production penalty is only 60%, which is absolutely great because, well, it's already quite difficult to produce enough coal and with this thing, it would be even worse. So let's see if we can spend culture in a meaningful way. Nagas. 2000 griffins also 2000 and it's only 10 seconds left so i think that would be a good moment to spend our culture here all right now we cannot possibly have enough culture so i will just relax about it and continue so what could be the next goal so i think that the long-term goal would be to get navigation and we have 29 maximum science 29,000. so it's quite close and hopefully we can uh, get it soon enough because also we have more max science produced by temples 
there is now multiple ways of getting more science storage buying more temples getting more academies building more libraries which is like very tiny amount so i will continue gathering resources and extending our science storage and if we are lucky enough we are going to get another blueprint so that we can have one steamworks running hey i've decided that in this last episode of this first season i'm going to grab another workshop isn't it a great thing to celebrate we were able to build 31 workshops and now we cannot build anymore because we don't have enough storage for minerals and excuse me for another interruption i promise i won't do this anymore <laughs> probably i noticed something observatory we have enough beams to make enough scaffolds to make an observatory which is going to give us one thousand max signs very exciting let's see how to do it we have uh we need 50 scaffolds scaffolds plus three uh yeah that's easier all right let's get an observatory and we have it it wasn't so difficult so now we have astronomical event chance auto astronomical event chance i mean a bit higher and science bonus 25 percent i don't know where to put all this science honestly the problem is not with the amount of sciences the problem is with the with the where to store it basically anyway max science 1000 and it's only 34 minutes to get enough wood to build another one i think that is probably gonna be the way forward to get to the uh, navigation okay let's continue yeah I, I know i shouldn't do it but here i am did it again i have another thing on my mind look there is a unicorn pasture available finally we're gonna get us more unicorns well less unicorns at first of course and then more unicorns in the longer run and we strategize for the longer run in this game because nothing happens instantaneously unfortunately okay observatory we need some scaffolds we need some beams so we need some beams we need some scaffolds and a little bit more nice now we make another observatory so now it is 32.75k science max and we need 33.25 so it is very very little we still uh, have to get what are our options academy with the wood and library well it is not enough wood and now it is still not enough wood so we will have to wait a little bit more oh wait a second maybe we don't because there is a temple we can build a temple of light 33.25k and now we have enough well enough science storage and we still need a, a little bit of time to get to the point when we can actually research it but it's a good a first step so i'm thinking how can i get to this uh navigation science faster so we need manuscripts for manuscripts we need culture we need parchments and all this expensive stuff so <clears throat> one way could be to build steamworks and and steamworks can produce a little bit of manuscripts but that seems to be very very expensive we don't have blueprints anyway and another thing what i could do is trading and with trading uh it is possible to get manuscripts from sharks but we need a lot of iron and we can get a lot of iron from griffins and we can exchange our wood for iron so my plan is basically as follows i will send wood to griffins i will get iron and steel as a byproduct and maybe i get blueprints if they're nice enough they're never nice 
So then I will buy manuscripts from sharks in exchange for iron. And so hopefully I can get there faster. So can you guess what day it is when I'm recording? Because today I'm a zebra in a savanna full of titanium mines. This potentially could be the result of consuming too much catnip. But regardless of that strange phenomenon, I have some great news. The navigation science is finally available. We can navigate now. I don't know what it means. But we will navigate like somewhere. We get somewhere with that and it's a good thing. Let's navigate. So now we have three new technologies to research. Architecture allows construction of some new sophisticated structures. We need compendiums for that and a lot of science. Physics is a study of laws of nature, mostly improves your machinery effectiveness. That's interesting. I wonder if we can improve steam work, which we don't have yet. Geology is the science of comprising of the study of cat, the rocks of which it is composed and the processes by which they change can potentially benefit your mining industry. Also, not yet available in the foreseeable future. I don't see how we can get it. It needs twice as much storage for science. Okay, so I'm going to reassign our scientist back. Manage jobs. Now we generate a lot of science. Next, let's see what we have got here. We have a new building available for us. It's harbor, provides a space to store your resources. Wow, it is another storage. So it gives catnip, wood, minerals, coal, iron, and gold. I think it's pretty good uh, amounts of storage and it only uses the resources which are not limited by our storage space. It means that we can make a lot of them. And now we also have a place where to put all the surplus iron we are generating. Because it requires plates and plates require a lot of iron. I guess now I feel that I want to increase the smelting process and maybe use all of the smelters we have. Maybe even create more just to make sure we produce enough iron to build more harbors. There is also another option in our workshop. Now we can craft trade ships. Ships can be used to discover new civilizations, may improve chances of getting certain rare resources. That's nice. Aha, so here we are gonna use our star charts. We have 29, so we have enough for one starship, but we don't have other resources. That's fine, for now it's okay. We also got new upgrades. Titanium axe. Indestructible axes woodcutters are 50% more effective. Well, I guess we don't have titanium yet, but I think since uh, ships allow us to discover new civilization, I guess we will discover a new civilization soon that is going to sell us some titanium. Expanded cargo. Every ship will give a 1% bonus to harbor capacity. Also, oh, we not only have a new building for storage, we also have a way to extend this storage even more with ships. Interesting. I think that's gonna solve our storage issues for quite a bit. Caravansary. Your trade posts have a very minor effect on race standing. Hmm. Is it possible to improve our standings with uh, griffins? I guess it's gonna cost a lot, but maybe it is possible. Astrolabe. Improves observatories max science bonus by 50%. Wow, wow, that's another amazing upgrade to observatory because now we can have 1500 max science from each observatory. And I can see that star charts are becoming more and more important. Titanium reflectors. Improved telescope reflectors every observatory will give 2% to library data center effectiveness. 
library bonus 2%. Hmm, I don't know what is library slash data center. I mean, I know what is library, what is data center. I guess we're gonna have something else in the near future for science data centers. Very exciting. All right, so for now, I would like to build at least one Steamworks. So what do we need for that? We need one blueprint, so I'll be back when I get one. And immediately I made one single trade and I got one blueprint. It is so, so good. Steamworks, let's build this. I don't feel anything special. Well, what it says on the tooltip, I just snap here and it looks like I'm working. It feels like you're doing actually that. All right, automation disabled, manuscript conversion. Hmm, so let's see. Our manuscripts, are we getting anything from here? It doesn't look like so. How many we should get? 0 0.0003. Hmm, I'm not sure how to check this. Maybe if I go into settings and I use high precision. Still nothing. Now, what if I enable automation? All right, now we get this. And what about the call? Plus 0 0.5, Steamworks minus 60%. And if we disable automation, yeah, 0 0.8. Okay, so it's really worth it, I think, for now to get more manuscripts. I'll turn off the high precision for resources because now we know it works all right so now we have steamworks now we have uh, navigation we can build a harbor and we can do it immediately we need only 75 plates now we have 99 and we can build a harbor amazing we have a harbor now and it means that we have much more storage and just the last thing for this episode and the end of this season. I noticed there is another resource we can produce in the workshop. And that's Megalith, a massive block that can be used to construct enormous structures. That sounds intriguing. Now we have 2.86 Megalith. I don't know if it is enough for anything. Oh, wow. And we have workshop automation working for us. Not too bad. The game keeps playing itself more and more. I like it. And this is a good moment to wrap up this episode and the whole first season. I feel both happy that I was able to finish this project. I never thought I could create something for YouTube. And here we are. And I guess since you're watching it, it's not too bad. And I feel a little bit sad that it's done. At the same time, when something is over, there is more space for other things to happen. So I hope I will be able to continue working on this channel and create more videos for you and for myself as well. And thank you everyone for watching, for liking videos, for leaving comments. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! Well, I think this was the most stupid buy I ever said. <laughs> well, I guess that's the culmination anyway. <laughs>